How to breed alpacas. There are many benefits to breeding alpacas. You may want to breed alpacas because of their friendly temperament and because they are easy to train and enter into shows. Alpacas can also be a sound investment, offering a wool-like fiber that is as fine as cashmere and softer than a sheep's wool. Because alpacas adapt to various environments and take to farm living well, breeding alpacas is a great way to increase your herd, or you may choose to sell your young alpacas for a profit. Selecting the right alpacas. Purchase alpacas. If you don't already have any alpacas, you will need to purchase a breeding pair before you can have them mate. Alpacas are not inexpensive, but many farms offer in-house financing to help you to afford quality animals. A breeding female can range in price from $5,000 to $40,000 and a breeding male will likely cost between $5,000 and $50,000. Some exceptional males have even been sold for as much as $200,000. Expect to spend a minimum of $10,000 for a healthy male and female alpaca to begin your breeding process. The best way to find alpacas for sale is on the Alpaca Owners Association's registry. You can find alpacas for sale here, http colon slash slash www.alpacainfo.com slash find slash alpacas If you purchase your alpacas from a local farm, you may want to have a veterinarian look the animals over prior to your purchase to ensure they are healthy and able to breed. Ensure the female is of appropriate breeding age. It's common for breeders to want to maximize their financial return on a breeding female alpaca, and as a result they begin breeding them at too young an age. Alpacas traditionally reach breeding maturation sometime between 12 and 24 months, with some as late as 30. While some alpacas have successfully conceived as young as 5 months, this is not safe for the female or the baby. Breeding your female alpacas too young can lead to complications that can endanger the lives of the female and baby alpacas. Make sure your female alpaca weighs at least 88 pounds before allowing her to breed. Breeding your female alpacas too young can lead to complications that can endanger the lives of the female and baby alpacas. Make sure your female alpaca weighs at least 88 pounds before allowing her to breed. Choose an appropriate breeding male. Male alpacas are usually ready to mate for the first time at between 1 and 3 years of age. You can be sure a male alpaca is matured enough to breed when its penis separates from the prepuce. Male alpacas that are not matured enough to breed physically will be unable to mate and will likely demonstrate little interest in attempting to do so. When the male alpaca matures sufficiently to breed, its genitals will detach from the body and hang freely. When the male alpaca matures sufficiently to breed, its genitals will detach from the body and hang freely. Ensure both the breeding male and female alpacas are healthy. This step is often overlooked because people tend to assume their animals are in good health. Remember that the health of the baby alpaca will be determined in great part by the health of each of its parents, so it's important to ensure they are both in optimal health. It is especially important that the female alpaca is in good health due to the relative size of their offspring. Baby alpacas are often born weighing around 20 pounds, with a mother that weighs only about 150. Make sure your alpacas are well fed and that their nutritional needs are met. Ensure you give a breeding female alpaca enough time to fully recover from giving birth before you breed them again. They are often healed after two weeks, but may be stressed by nursing a baby for up to six months. You may want to have both alpacas looked over by a veterinarian to ensure they are free of parasites and in good health. Make sure your alpacas are well fed and that their nutritional needs are met. Ensure you give a breeding female alpaca enough time to fully recover from giving birth before you breed them again. They are often healed after two weeks, but may be stressed by nursing a baby for up to six months. You may want to have both alpacas looked over by a veterinarian to ensure they are free of parasites and in good health. Create a separate breeding pen. Alpaca breeding behavior can be enhanced by establishing the proper setting. Construct a separate breeding pen and ensure it is positioned in an area that can't be seen by any other male alpacas you have. Ensure your breeding pen is on flat, even terrain so the male alpaca can maintain its balance while mating. The breeding pen should be fairly small. Make sure it is only two to three times larger in area than the space your male and female alpaca occupy so they can move freely but have to interact. Minimize distractions by removing everything from the breeding pen except the two alpacas. The breeding pen should be fairly small. Make sure it is only two to three times larger in area than the space your male and female alpaca occupy so they can move freely but have to interact. Minimize distractions by removing everything from the breeding pen except the two alpacas.